Disney Princess, Sleeping Beauty, Aurora Slumber Party. Oh, Princess Aurora loved being married to Prince Philip and living in at the castle. But she missed her fairy friends, Flora, Fauna, and Mary River. One day, Philip told her that he had to visit another kingdom overnight. Why don't you invite the three good fairies to keep you company while well, I'm gone? He said to Aurora, That's a wonderful idea. Aurora yeah, replied, So, I invite him to friends and Sticky. I'll set them an invitation right away. Nora, Fauna, and Mary Weaver were excited with when did they got their invitations. But when they arrived at the castle, Aurora wasn't wearing her pajamas. Surprise! Aurora cried. It's a slumber party. You better change it and your pajamas and pajamas too. I will frown the thing I can. See, they were never the fairies quickly get a change into the perfect chance of the Zanas and then use bringing the magic to fill the room with music and no a time at all. Everyone was dancing. The party was off uh, to great and they get a great start. I'll check this one around the hill. Aurora took each fairy by the hand and swore her left and right. As she tore up Fauna, Aurora's nightgown suddenly went out into the lo lovely shade of blue. Oh no, that won't do all at all, Laura said. She pointed her wand at Aurora and turned the nightgown pink. No! Not until it's so fast. Cried Mary Weaver. Turning in the blue again, back and forth, the nightgown went on too. Finally, it sailed to its user color. Pink and blue were so, it's so very light color. Suddenly, Flora picked. It up a pillow and scored it at, at, at Mary Weaver. Mary Weaver do. And grabbed her a pillow of her own. Take a couple sips of that for mommy. Juana and Aurora stopped dancing and watched the fairies' pillow flight. Then they looked at each other and grabbed her for all own pillows. Soon the room was colder and Fedors and his friends were out of the breath from laughing. All that planning has made me hungry. Maybe we should go downstairs and make a snack. Maybe we were suggested. Ah, oh, there is something more that comes without a mom to do. I find your friends are here at the hall. In the kitchen. Mary Weaver made her herself a sticker to the berry sandwich. It looked so good. The friends of her fairies raced over to make their own. I found out where the kitchen was safest up there. Soon the kitchen was abuzz with activity. Everyone making her own bedtime snack. Laura picked up her sandwich. As she dipped it into it, a door of Iga cream flew across the room, right onto Aurora's face. Oops, Laura said. I'm sorry, princess. But Aurora wasn't upset. In fact, she was laughing. Slumber parties were all about to having fun, and she was having a great time. Another hair bear? I should go her and see. As it came her from the houses. Let's read a story, Aurora suggested, when she and the fairies went up the backs upstairs. She and her friends gathered around the bed, and Flora, each of them, 
Soon the fairies began to grow sleepy. Aurora set the book outside, and everyone went to sleep. You sitting down with it, it changed with the sigh. Everyone died. Is exclaimed Flora. She was still too excited for the night. She tossed and turned, slipped and flopped, and then she excited with blood and Mary Weaver on it in the head. I shook it up from the hospital. Hospital, Ruth. Mary Weaver woke up and ran in her head. Ouch! She cried. Why did you hit me? I didn't mean to," said Flora. It's just that I can't I can fall asleep. Well, not that I can't sleep. Hers are some every river. All of her fur woke up, Lana. Who? She said that they try counting she to fall asleep. Laura and Mary River agreed that Lana's excited was for trying. They lie down again and began to count. One, two, three. Flora counted. All of it are just sudden in the tower. She turned it blue. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Maybe we were counting her blue sheen. But just when she had almost fallen asleep, Mary was she changed from blue to pink. Blue, she cried, and changed to the back. Pink snore said, "She ended the sheep and changed the color again." Soon the two fairies were sitting up, the having another tea. But this time, they were Fauna and Aurora. Aurora asked, "What? What? What is wrong?" And the fairy told her about the pink and blue sheep. Maybe there's a better way to fall asleep. Or said she in the sand, up and began to sing a lullaby to the fairies. As her sweet voice carried across the room, the good fairies closed their eyes. Soon they were at all fast asleep. Even Flora, I jumped from the set. I have enough for sponsor to bring it home. Ah, <gasps>、oh, that's better, Aurora said, and then humming a lullaby softly to herself, she pulled up the covers and went to back to sleep. I became my at the certain.